Okay, Michael. You made it. Of course. <laughs> We're here. I don't know if you had the opportunity to watch the last week's video where we came out and we did Bruder versus the Romer, the Romer one. one. Michael, what happened again? Can you give us a little recap on that one? Yeah, well, we compared all the departure angles and the lowest clearance points, which on paper, the Romer one at the highest points did have more. And yeah. then we took it on the obstacle and I don't know, Shane was making comments that I look bored watching the Romer <laughs> one go up because it just made it look so easy. Um, the Bruder did well as nothing, nothing scratched, hit. nothing it, touched. It you, was closer though. It only had a few inches of clearance. So we gave the win to the Romer one when it came to this obstacle. Now, today we have the paws. We don't really want to compare them spec to spec. This trailer is twice the size, right? It's it, longer, it's heavier, it, wider, it's taller. Every way it's bigger. <laughs> what about our departure angles and our clearance angles? Are they bigger there too? Well, they might be, I can read them off <laughs> They <you. laughs> might be, oh boy. Well, let's walk over to this obstacle to recap. We have a brooder. This is a used brooder. It's not brand new. Unfortunately, we're not carrying brooders here. We compared our Romer one and our paws to brooders and we said we think they're better and people are like no way Australia you know the brooder is better so today we're gonna compare them off-road to see which one is more capable we have an obstacle about a five to what six foot climb climb yep. it is for a Jeep but we got a capable vehicle and well supposedly we got the best trailers in the world here today right that is right. Now, let's be fair, the Bruder is used, and this is a six. The XB8 might have similar specs to the Paws, but we don't have any XB8. And if we did, we would be comparing them on an off-road test. So let's compare with what we have. Tell us our clearance on the Bruder, lowest to highest. Lowest to highest. So let's do clearance again, recap on that brooder. When the airbags are all the way down is an 11 and a half inches. 11 and a half inches. And a Jeep, I'm pretty sure that's like the pumpkin on a stock Wrangler. Yeah, it's around. Okay. So what is it at its highest clearance? The highest clearance is 21. 21. So with the bags completely extended, it's 21 inches. So how much travel does that have? Yeah, so from 11 and a half to 21, that's nine and a half inches. Nine and a half inches of travel. That's strange is because I thought it had 12 inches of travel. And that's measuring at the lowest points of the trailer. So the travel of the trailer, the suspension, the suspension can do more. Like so if it fell in a pothole or something. Maybe it, maybe it would actually travel 12 inches, yeah. but the actual lift, lift is yeah. nine and a half inches. Okay. Let's talk about the clearance on the paws because I know a lot of people have been like, that's a big trailer. It's got a long tongue. And then they even, people complain about that drop down point, which is the lowest point, right? That is the lowest point, yeah. The, the water tank is close, but that front end is still lower. Okay, so what is it tank. at the lowest with the suspension all the way in the lowest? 15. 15. And the brooder was? 11. 5. 11 and a half. Okay, so it's winning even in its lowest position. So when it's maxed out, the brooder was 21. And the pause is 26. 26. There you go, five, that's half, almost half a foot more. <laughs> that's crazy. And that's at the part that actually drops down. Yeah. Okay, now the pause is over 25 feet. This is just over 20 feet. So that breakover angle from the tire, the truck tire to the trailer tire is gonna be a lot longer. So there's a high chance that we're gonna be scraping the pause, even though it's five inches higher in clearance because obviously once the truck comes up here it's gonna it potentially can scrape right yeah, here. break over on the front end could so hit. now the biggest thing is when you're dropping down things and you're going in a wash the butt of the trailer right that's called yeah. your departure angle it's a tire to the part where you're gonna scrape what was the departure angle on the brooder on the at the highest point yeah 22 degrees 22 degrees okay well, that's okay it's pretty good. It's that's like a stock f-150 if you get a stock 1500 usually they're going to be around 19 to 20 yeah. something inches and and so essentially if you have a stock ford you're going to be able to go anywhere with the brooder with your stock ford now we measured my truck what was my truck at uh the bumper was 36 and then your hitch, hitch was around 24. yeah so the brooder will not go where my truck will go so i can go more places in my truck than the brooder the brooder will hold me back essentially now, the pause, what was the departure angle on the pause? 
At the highest point? At the highest point, I suppose. That's what we want to know. <laughs> 30.5. 30.5. Holy <laughs> moly. It's really high. And the other one was, did we say 21? The Bruder is 22. That is crazy. So that's eight degrees, which is a lot. Eight degrees. That's crazy. That's like Jeep territory. Yeah. That is like a Wrangler It does have Jeep. a Jeep inspired bumper. It does. It does. <laughs> there you have it. This is the obstacle. It's pretty gnarly looking. I'm hooked up to the brooder right now. We're gonna bring the brooder up. We're gonna see how close it gets on the butt. We'll measure the breakover angle first, and then we'll see how close it gets to this, and then we'll hook up the paws and see how it does. And we're gonna put them at ride height, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so typically a breakover angle on a vehicle is from the back tire to the front tire, that area, you know, kind of like the teeter-totter where you're going to high center. That's, yeah, that's your breakover break. angle. Yeah, and then your departure is here and your approach is on the front. Obviously, I don't think anybody's ever invented a trailer truck breakover angle. I yeah. think we're the only ones that do this. Yeah. So we're gonna call the breakover angle on this. It's gonna go from the center tire of my truck to the center tire of this and it is 205 inches so pretty good we don't know what the pause is yet once we get hooked up to that one we'll know so we'll remember that 205 and then we'll get the pause in a bit so we want to make sure everything's fair when we go up the obstacle and we're going to be doing it at ride height and once we get to the all the different parts that we're at we're going to make sure you know, we'll see if we're going to clear and if we need to higher it or lower it, wherever it's at. Yeah, but so right now at the lowest, we're at 36 and a half inches. So we need to go up about five inches. A few moments later. A little bit more. Yeah, it's a pinch. 42. Okay, go to the other side. 42 and a quarter. We are now at half. We're at the half mark, so we're at right height. And we're going to hit this obstacle. Unfortunately, when we did the Romer 1 last week, we were at max height and the Romer 1 was at half. And so it didn't really get a good comparison. But this time around, we're gonna make sure we stick, keep the brooder at right height, at half. And we're gonna put the paws to half or right height. And we're gonna see how well these do at right height. And if we need to adjust them higher, we can do that once we're on the obstacle. All right, I'll watch your butt. Is it gonna make it? Don't let it drag. Is it okay? Yeah. Oh. All right, go really slow. Keep going. Slow, keep going. Is it gonna get there? Mm, a little further. Stop! Is it hitting? Yep. Oh. yep. We hit dirt. We broke ground. Huh? We broke ground. We broke ground? <laughs> yep. Just, t it's touching. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. Yeah. It looks awesome. It does look awesome. Too bad it's touching. hitting. <laughs> we <laughs> that, broke ground. That's not awesome. First but... trailer to break ground. <laughs> this is almost touching the ground, but not quite. Not So now we want to. We have to go up. We got to go to max height. And then once we get to max height, let's measure it. And then we'll put the paws to 50% height. Get and it to, if it hits there, then we'll oh, raise it up. Yeah, we should mark this. Let's yeah. do some very sophisticated Markings, area where we know, know. Like a big rock or something. We know this is like the lowest point right here. Obviously, they're going to be measured different, but we can at least see this is where the this brooder This is where the brooder hit. hit. Yeah. So we have a good mark right here. Yeah, right. Oh, oh. This is where the brooder hit. Boom. Got it? Yep. Brooder line. Brooder line. So we'll find out where the pause is and we'll just try to find wherever it's at its lowest point and then max it and then we can measure them to try to get to the exact same spots. Okay, airbags all the way up. More moments later. Is that all the way up? Yep, that's about what it looked like when we took it the first time. Okay. 
Two and a half inches. Two and a half inches. It's really hard is because the pause is super, a lot longer though. Yeah, but it's still going to be. The it's going to have still a. Better. It's going to have a. It's going to have a lowest point somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Let me know. Yep. You're clear. Take it home. It looks like it gets pretty close over here. Yeah, just touched the mud flaps. I mean, it did it, it made it, but it had to be maxed out. It couldn't make it at normal ride height. Oh. Now we'll see what the pause does. Let's take Our consistent. break over. Oh, the brooder, 204, 205? 205. 205. Okay, so our truck and trailer break over angle is 244. Mm. Look at that. That's a little less than the Romer. Yeah, it's actually, the Romer was 250 something. Six. 256, 240 for about 10 inches. So the tongue is a little bit longer. That's why it tows so good. That longer tongue helps towing. So this is not so bad. It better break over than the Romer one. Worse break over angle than the Bruder, but more clearance in every spot. A lot of people have said, this drop down is messing up your clearance. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> it's like, higher than any of my other trailers. Yeah. And once you're cleared that, you have even more clearance everywhere else. Shall we go? Shall we do it? Yeah. Let's see how this goes. We're going at ride height. Yeah, and, and we're, we're gonna, gonna stop. See where, we're gonna stop at its lowest point, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Pause, do me good. Let's see. It's got it. Where's Easy. the line? Here, I'm oh. standing at it. Oh yeah, you're at the mark. So this is, this is where the brooder's butt kissed the ground. You did. And it, we gave up the ghost. Yeah, we had to lift it to max height. Yep. Okay, here we go. We have a much heavier trailer. I can fill it. No, nah, it's not so bad, actually. I got Hemi. Hemi power. Got a Hemi. Got a Hemi. Oh. Oop. Oop. Cleared that. We're good. Am I going to clear that rock? Yeah. You, well, you might go on the rock, but... <laughs> you went on the rock. That's okay. A little bit further, but we're about to start changing angles. Keep going. Yeah, it's still it's still coming down. Let's see, because it's about where the when the tires hit. Keep going. Is that the lowest point? No, a little further. I'd say there's the lowest point. Cause we're about to start climbing. Is that, the, so that's the lowest point right there? Yeah. Is it dragon? Dragon what? Dragon the butt. <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing, air. Well, let's see what we got. And we're at half, we're right height. Yeah, so right height. Well, what was the brooder again? Zero. Two and a half. <laughs> no, zero. zero. <laughs> at right height, it was kissing. 15. It, okay, it's at 15 inches right there? Yeah. I said you could sleep under there. Oh, well, Michael, I don't know where, I, that is the lowest point, but this is the bumper. <laughs> the, yes. The steel bumper, by the way. Okay, what did you say it was? 15, 15 inches. 15 inches, okay. Well, see how we'll much see. we gain. We'll see how much we gain. We're gonna climb it all the way up to 100%. A few inches later. Well, seeing. at the moment, we're at 22. So we've gained seven inches. 20 inches. Yeah, because we had two inches oh, there. it just went up. It just went up a little bit more. Did it? Yep. It's almost two feet. It almost has two feet more clearance than the brooder. Now we're still about 20 feet. Okay. Well, there you go. That's enough. We don't want to make it feel any more bad. Sorry. 20 inches over Sorry already. over there. We're not trying to hurt you, hurt your feelings. Shh. <laughs> Look at the clearance under this thing. It's like just insane. Should lay under there. I could easily look. Get out of the sun. Yeah. Get no. into the shade. I want the shade. Look at that thing. Oh yeah, totally easily. Look at this. If I want to camp under here, <laughs> we just got plenty of space. You can sit up. I actually can. <laughs> there you go. 
I'm, I'm not like sitting straight up, but pretty much sitting up. <laughs> Look at that, it's nice and shady. Wow, this suspension looks sweet. This looks rad down here. Oh yeah, <laughs> there you have it. Give us a perspective, Shane, real quick. A perspective? Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, there we go. Check it out. Got some pretty cool suspension right there. Oh boy, more ride. There you have it. Best in class, right? Let's finish going up and see how much clearance we keep. Our uh, breakover could do us in, you never know. Jeez Louise, it's almost too tall. Let's finish this. Here it goes. Going up. Oh, plenty of space. Yeah, you're going to clear. There you go. You cleared it. Well, that's where it's important to what? know your trailer, know your truck, so you take the right lines when you're off-roading, because every truck and trailer acts differently. It's impressive. <laughs> so much clearance. 22 inches. <laughs> Okay, hey, Michael, <laughs> Bruder, or pause. You gave the rating last time. <laughs> yeah, you can give the rating this time. Okay. So the facts are zero and 15. <laughs> <laughs> so at right height. At right height. The, the butt of this one was at zero. It touched the ground. We were touching. And this one was 15. But what about max height? Well, we gained a whole two and a half inches on the Bruder. Oh, it was three. Yeah, Joel was three inches. Well, what was this one again? 22. Oh, so, <laughs> so it was 20 inches more? Oh boy, I feel bad. Listen, that's a sweet looking trailer. It is, and it, it made it. It still did. Oh yeah. It it's, did it all, did yeah. it well. And the Romer one, it, it made it with the Romer one last week when we did this video. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. That was pretty good. The only thing that we messed up on that video is when we did the video, the Romer one was at right height, which was 50, about 45 to 50%. Yeah, and the Bruder was sitting at max height. Yeah. We thought it was at ride, but. It was at max. So, uh, you know what? Because this one's skinnier, it doesn't weigh as much. I'll give a point there. You know, it's like 43 or 4,400 pounds. This one's it's over 7,000 pounds. Definitely a heavier trailer. You need more truck for it. You do have to have more truck for it. But we're not comparing like everything on the trailer. We were just comparing the off-road capability as far as the clearance, the departure, the pause is a better trailer. It's more superior. It even has more lift than this. 11 and a half inches of lift versus nine and a half inches of lift. I, I, I wanna give this the benefit of the doubt because it's used the- uh, Yeah, it could just be options. Also, this isn't the newest model. So there you have it. Bruder versus Paws, right? And yep. this is the largest Paws. Well, no, there's a 21.4, which has bunk beds. But that's- It's not, about a half a foot longer. Yeah, it's not much longer. Yeah, but- Same suspension. It's, all the specs, you can go to our website, you can do a full tour on this one. I mean, with all the camera system, the solar system, the battery system, the Victron, the Battleborn, everything on it is just amazing. If you want more information on the pause, go check it out. We got full tours of it. It's on our website. You can learn more about it there. Hey everyone, a cool update I wanna share with you. If you love the look of the fully blacked out Bruder Rhino coating, you will be happy to see that the pause is now doing a special fully blacked out Rhino edition. Click the link below to get a 3D tour and brochure of the new blacked out edition. Looks like a Bruder, but probably better. The Bruder, wish we sold these, we don't. Yeah. Overall, it's really cool. Now, honestly, it's gonna get you to most places that you actually wanna go. And it's cool that it has that air ride suspension. The suspension looks really cool, but the overall clearance and off-road prowess is not as good as the Paws or the Romer one. So stay tuned. If you have any questions, any thoughts, comments, obviously make them. Yeah, I'd uh, like to hear what you think. Our next video, stay tuned for it, coming out next week will be the Pursuit versus the Bruder. 
and that will be fun is because we got some Australian versus Australian. Yeah. And I think we're going to try a harder obstacle. Yep. Yep, right? Yeah, yeah. I think we have one in mind that's a little harder where we're going to have to be adjusting airbags to try to make it up in a strategic way. Okay. You got to go left, you got to go right, you got to, all the stuff. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's intense. It's, it's much more gnarly. Yeah, I like it. Okay, let's go. See you. Thanks for watching.